Ma, you got a reminder on your phone. Sign that you cannot smell. The only thing you can smell is your own breath. And I was looking for eyeballs. what your names. Some kind of cleaner. No, I was looking for um Clorox wipes to see if they have that. Jackson, this is great. So Mr. Clean. Y'all, we are in Target. A scrubby daddy and a scrubby mommy. Hey, I'm totally it's hard. It's gonna have a Get them out of order. I don't have to touch the foods. Scrub right. Hey, look, hold on. It's a scrubby daddy thingy. Oh, no, that's bad, Maddie. It's like a scrubby sponge. Hard, soft. No, I can't see. They do have the clocks, but we got those already. Mm -hmm. uh, Isn't this just a dog stuff? No, I'm going down here to see. I was looking. I need to get toilet paper because my stores are low. And paper towels because I don't want to be running out of nothing. Okay. We just went down that one. What's on this one? Oh, they got some wipes. Let's go that way. We gotta go around. We gotta go down that aisle. Because of the, um... What's the price on those, Jack? Due to high demand, we are eliminating the quantity of disinfectant wipes to so one per guest. We apologize for the inconvenience. How in the world is that at all? I'm gonna just stop. And it's five forty nine. No, I'm not. Not for one. You know, I mean, you know, I'm checking the dollar general because they had some stuff. Lines. Oh, I like lines. Oops. Okay. So y'all, mom said she had to get away from this stuff, and she's and looking I, for a notebook. Get that. This is a planner for school planner. Look down here. The pink one. Y'all, she said she had to be away. Here you go. And, but she's looking at this stuff. No, I like the ones with lines. I don't like the ones without lines. Goodbye. Okay. All right, friends. So, you know, I just, I have issues. I got, I got some issues, right? This is $17. $17. And then this one is $15 for toilet paper. I think you can get it cheaper at, um, where is it, Costco? Um, technically, Mom, this yeah. is $14.79. Still, $15, you can get 75 rolls at Costco. I'm going to have to get. Hey, Mom, look, do it, because I'll match that picture. No, that's crazy. Man, Charmin is $23.99. Where am I living my best life? $23.99? Oh, no, baby. 48 mega rolls, $9.99. This one is how much? I think. That's $6.99. That's $6.99. Mm -mm. I'm going to have to get um, toilet paper from Costco because that's just going to be the best option. But. This why I don't shop here. It's just above my pay grade. And I, I know I could be totally missing the value of Target, but we came here because Alana has a gift card. That's why we came here. So we're looking for stuff, but whew. Good granny. And here are your paper towel aisles. They do have some bounty at 15, but I still can probably get it cheaper at Costco. So I'm just gonna not buy too much in here. I did get a couple um, like keto friendly items, but even those were expensive to me. So anyway, we're gonna walk through and see what we can find, but y'all, mm, same for the people, right? But I'm looking here and this um, 
uh, Good and Gather is 287. And then there's a dollar off this package. So I'm gonna get this. It's one pound and it'll be a dollar eighty-seven for this package. So I'm gonna get that one. That's a good sale. That's a good sale on that. Whereas they have this turkey right here. It's three pounds. It's seven nineteen. And there's three dollars off. So to make three pounds like four nineteen. But the meat looks so brown. So I'm not gonna get that. Um, it is a little way, it's way more expensive than what I would get in my regular stores. So I'm having to be, let's not get something with brown spots to be a little more selective in here. Let's look for the ones without brown spots, Bubba, just keep looking around. Like that one, or like those Or ones. these, with at least brown spots as we can find. What about down here? Those are better, those look okay. Or these down here. Or these look halfway decent. Those look good. You want these little tiny ones? Uh, sure. Then get them. Get, get the ones you want. But let's try to stay away from the brown spots because they'll go riper quicker. But that, oh, hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll be over $3. Let's get it. Um, they're 29 cents each, not a pound. Uh, no, you get the one that like four. No, we'll get them from Walmart. We'll go to Walmart. Okay. Walmart. We're gonna have to, cause. But you, you can look for what? Well, I'm gonna look. Are oh, you gonna look for the waffle? Yeah, we'll look for that. This is the. I'm following the arrow. The arrow says go this way. Look. Are we gonna go up and down every aisle? Just so we don't run into people. So here's how their stuff is working here. It's almost like everything is a price each. So 99 cent each. Huh. What's the price for strawberries? What's the price? It's just 1.99. But That's not a bad price for strawberries. It's not. Ugh. So the kids and I are just leaving Target. When we got here, there was not a line to go in, but this is the line to get into Target. Alana had a gift card from her birthday in January. Six months later. And we yeah. never come on the side of town where Target is. And so we were trying to, because we, we just so happened to be in town. I said, okay, well, we'll slide over to Target so she could spend her gift card. And there is literally a line now to get in Target. The only other place I've seen a line to get in was Costco, but this is around the side of the building. I've never seen that before. So, you know, it is, things are still just a little different than what they used to be. We were going, Alana wanted to buy some shoes and they were a no try on. She couldn't try them on. So the lady was like, well, you could buy them, go out to your car and try them on and bring them back. I'm not doing any of that. No, I'm not. That's three, four, five steps too much for me. So we did not get the shoes, but there's no trying on at Target, nothing. And um, her, her shoe size is just not that one that you want to play around with. Then to have another trip from the car back into the thing to stand in line. They had one register open. Target, do better, please. One register open. I think they had three or four self checkouts, but honey, that line was so long. Woo, glory. No, ma'am, not for Shakima. So we're heading to Aldi. Um, I want to get a few things for the Mediterranean challenge for this week. We did get some shrimp earlier in the week and they are all gone. So they were delicious. Weren't they though? Just so lovely and delish. But I do want to stop to Aldi because there's a couple more things that I saw. Um, on the list that I think would be um, helpful and beneficial to us. So we're gonna try to head over there right now and then we're going home. Find it, but I can't. They, they, some stores have it. Let's 
some done. I haven't seen it here yet. I haven't seen the zero card bread here at all. Zero card? Yeah. Mm. From Aldi, y'all, and they have these cheese wraps, these mozzarella cheese wraps. You get six of them um, for about four twenty-eight. That's expensive for me. Like seventy cents. Zero That's zero sugar. That's said zero carb, zero fiber. Zero sugar. Zero added sugar. Zero added sugar. That's what's in that ingredients. Still, it's a little high for me, but hey, if it works right, okay, I'm gonna keep moving along. And some mozzarella cheese. Happy Farms by all these. Alrighty, you guys, so the kids and I are back from all of our errands this morning. Uh, we did stop at a couple places. We stopped at Aldi, I stopped at Home Goods, and we stopped at Target. So Alana wanted to go to Target. She had a birthday gift card, and um, I was looking for some keto-friendly items that I'd seen in one of the groups I'm in, um, and they talk Target, 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 go to Target, go to Target. They have all these things. Well, first thing is, I didn't see a lot of the things that they said to find in Target, and second of all, Target is just above my budget, period. I mean, it's just one of those places that I cannot shop at a lot because I'm I the prices are just so expensive compared to Walmart. That's me, that's my opinion. That may not be true in your area, but I struggle and I I don't struggle. I just find it challenging to pay those prices. And this is coming from a person that has couponed for years. And if I can get a deal as of late, the last three months for sure, I have used very few coupons because there's just not a lot of coupon. I, the coupon items for things I need have not been on sale. So we're just really um, in survival mode, trying to pick up what we can here and there. But it is summertime now, so I am going to get back on my coupon grind as hard as I possibly can because I need to do better in this department. It's getting ready to be summer, and my budget is very limited for the summer. So, um, anywho, jumping in, right? So, Target, I had a whole list, and I was like, nope. When I picked up these first couple little things, I was like, okay, y'all, we got to go somewhere else. So, we ended up at Aldi. It was perfectly fine, but I got some heavy whipping cream. Uh, this was a dollar sixty six. I got some fork spoons and knives. Now, you know, I know there's a lot of people who do not like disposables, but we waste too many dishes. I mean, we do too many dishes. We're eating three meals a day plus snacks. It's too much. So for this little three ninety nine, um, we got forty nine spoons and forks. We can use that. We got a little scrubby so that we can make sure we're putting cleaner dishes in the dishwasher. Two fifty nine. Jackson got some oyster crackers. I think they were 89 cent. Saltines for Jackson were 99. We picked up these um, cookies and cream bars. Sister asked for these. They were like 7.99, somewhere in that ballpark for five of them, a lot. Um, we did find the Lily's Creamy Milk Chocolate. We have not found this in our Harris Teeter, 3.79. So I got that for Jackson because sister had a gift card and she bought her own and she did not want to share. So I bought him one for himself. We were on our way out the door and saw this um, from Molly's Bakery. It is a crab. This is apple cinnamon dog treat. So I got that from ma'am. It was $1.99. Picked up some 73.27 lean. I'm doing Mediterranean this week, but I'll definitely make a couple hamburgers out of this for next week or a cheese stuffed meatloaf. Uh, this was $3.19 with a dollar off. It ended up being $2.19 for a pound. Um, got the keto uh, pancakes for the kids. I'm not. I, my kids can tell you. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them. Um, I don't eat this stuff. I I just don't eat it. Now I may eat the Quest protein chips. I did pick those up for me in the chili lime flavor. They were again like seven dollars and some change, but you only get four bags. So all in all, at um, Target, I spent forty dollars forty one dollars and eighty cents. 
So, um, anybody want to step in here for a minute? Where's Alon? Where's sister? Uh, I'll keep moving while she we find Alon. So, I was looking for the Jordan Skinny Syrups, and I took a chance and decided to stop at Home Goods. And they did not have a lot. They normally have a ton. Did not have a lot. But Jackson said this brown sugar cinnamon. He likes tea. And so he could put that in his tea as well. Or um, we're going to be trying to make some flavored caramels. So that might be something that he can use. He's been eating popcorn and he saw some popcorn that was caramel flavored. I said, well, let's try to make it. Um, we have the s'more. I use that in my coffee, of course. And then we found a couple more. One was cookie dough. One is caramel fudge waffle cone, and then another one is birthday cake. So um, we're going to use those, and we spent right at Home Goods. It was $15.24. So my question is to the children, to the people, I was telling them that I don't normally eat some of these things, like the pancakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and you all were mentioning in Target about mom. What were you saying about mom when we were in Target? A lot of things. Well, when I said I'm not eating that, I don't. I don't have a clue. I didn't say anything. Like the willpower. Oh, oh! Look how y'all come back with it. Oh, yes, because oh, they were coming for my yeah, life. Well, she said we were just going down to my house where there's really great stuff that's not keto at all. And she said, Mom said that she was. She's eating like, all I, today. yeah, I would eat the every mother. these every one every single time. You know what we're saying. I could eat it every. I could eat it every single day. Like being on keto hasn't taken away cravings. Cravings. I could eat those things, but what I say? Yeah. And you Mom, said I, you won't. I said you could eat all. Uh, you said I could eat all this today. But, I'm, I, but Alon said what I said. You won't because you have too much willpower. That was him. Yeah, and I told her. Yeah, it said self control. Right. Right. Because I could. I could eat it. And besides, mom, you won't eat pancakes because you like to have yours very crispy. Yeah, I do like crispy pancakes. Well done. I can't eat that. But anyway, the whole conversation was about the willpower. Right. Right. There's so many things I'd love to eat, but I just don't oh, eat them. I also said that you wouldn't actually think that mom would even have these kinds of cravings because she's, because of that willpower. Like, she don't even look at it. <laughs> yeah, man, but I, I would eat it if it, hmm. It Krispy Kreme, man, that hot light. I mean, I could eat it, but I choose not to eat it. So it's not like my cravings are gone. They are not, but I'm just trying to keep to my goals. So at um, Aldi, we uh, picked up some Genoa salami. So, of course, I'm still doing the Mediterranean this week. I know there was prosciutto on the list, but I actually just picked up uh, salami. I don't like prosciutto. I just don't like that the way it. It's too chewy for me, and I, I have a texture issue, so didn't get that. But I did get some string cheese. I'm going to take this and wrap the string cheese and have that as a snack. We also picked up some uh, deli sliced Kobe Jack, and I got the white cheddar. Alana doesn't like white cheddar, so we got the Kobe Jack. They were like $1.79.69, somewhere in there. Um, the strawberries were $0.79 cents each. This was $2.79, $2.99. Sour cream, I was trying to get the... um. Fat-free Greek yogurt, but the one they had was really high in carbs. I meant the full-fat Greek yogurt. So I just ended up getting sour cream. So I got that. Um, shredded mozzarella cheese was like $1.79. This was $0.89. Cent. Zucchini was either $0.79 or $0.89 cents per pound. We picked up two things of eggs. I like getting the eggs at um, either Harris Teeter or Walmart has 30 medium eggs for $1.50. These were 99 cent for 12 large. I'd rather get the 30 medium for $1.50, but we were not going to Walmart. So I just got something to tide us over. Um, I picked up roasted pine nut hummus. This is for Jackson. That's not for mom or Alon. Jackson will eat that. But in this um, vegan keto cookbook, there is a recipe for um, vegan keto hummus. I think you use cauliflower. So we're going to try that recipe. And then because we are doing Mediterranean this week still, I got this seafood blend. That was $5.99. Jumbo scallops were $9.99. Shrimp were $5.99. And then tilapia was $3.79. So a lot more seafood this week. Um, 
decaf coffee was like 275 and Jackson wanted those honey wheat pretzels. I don't know what the price was on that or the gala apples. So he picked up those. And so at um, Aldi, I spent right at $60. So 60, 40, that was my $100 that I had. And then I had a little bit of extra like rollover money in my um, purse. And so that took care of that $15. But um, I did wanna sh show you a couple things that I got in Happy Mail today. So we did go to the P.O. Box today. We haven't been in a couple of days. And we got this cookbook. It's called The Thrifty Cook Tasty Budget Recipes. And that came from Michelle. I believe I'm reading that right. Michelle. Um, that's awesome. I was going through in a lot and I found the um, cuts of meat. We were looking at the cuts of meat and what each cut is and uh, where it is located on the animal. And then how you cook it. Which is very helpful because sometimes... Depending on uh, price, I'll get a different cut of meat than I'm normally used to getting. And then what I like to do is figure out how to cook it. Like, I don't want to cook it so it's tough. But I want to know, braise this or, you know, boil it or, you know, whatever. So I thought this was really a neat find. And we are doing kind of um, country kitchen. So this kind of goes with that country kitchen theme. So thank you so much. That's a blessing. Um to us and for us love that stationery that you sent the card on that was so beautiful and then a couple other um friends sent coupons so that is a blessing coupons that was for lilies and then that was from miss pam and then miss tiffany sent um you know she's like my coupon person sent cheese i hardly ever can find those um cheese coupons but we eat that like this um Galbani snacks, the cheese, string cheese. I can get that at Harris Teeter. Then there's more lilies. And then there was some other cheese coupons in here as well. The, the combo snacks, we like those. So those are things. And then, of course, I will get can get those for um, just being out in the yard. But my, my kids really, we try not to. I try to keep everybody on the same eating plan with the exception of Jackson, who is still doing his um, vegetarian. I mean, he's sticking to his to his goals, but I'm trying to incorporate more seafood because he will eat seafood. And if he eats, if he'll eat it, then I'll just make it for me and Alana and it'll be perfectly fine. Cause I, I don't want him to just feel like he has to be on this journey by himself. So I try to support that as, as best as I can. And then of course we're trying to do veggies. We do have some veggies in the fridge and we have some in the pantry that are, um, in the cans which is perfectly fine and we'll eat whatever we have so there it is you guys i did want to share that little shopping experience with you guys and what we were able to get from the grocery store we are so blessed i can't even tell you just the blessings that come through um for us god is really on our side and i'm here for that and i'm so thankful so anywho again thank you for all of my happy mail um everybody that sends us happy mail miss karen sent some coupons from texas thank you so much um, we just appreciate it so very much. Jesus is still on the throne. He still loves us. Everything that concerns you concerns him. For me, it's always been the grocery store and he is here for it. So there we are. This is what we were able to get for the, this week. Um, we're getting ready to roll into our summer months, which means limited resources, but God is not a limited God. So we're going to move in faith and trust him to supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. So there it is. If you like this video, be sure and thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.